Thank you for tuning in today. I will be the voice coming out of your speakers. My name is Frank and I'm happy to be with you today. This is an overview on the operational buttons and body features of the Canon 6D. This is not a hands-on review of the camera because I'm approaching the camera's operational education in a different aspect. I would like to invite you to read the comment section below for a nice list of specifications on this camera if you're interested. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and myself or anyone else may help answer your questions. Looking down at the camera, we can see that the left side contains the mode dial control that offers a central mode dial lock, release button, and can be rotated a full 360 degrees. The custom setting mode, which includes the C1 and C2 buttons. These two buttons are so you can register custom shooting modes. The creative zone of the dial includes the selection P, which is the program option. TV, which is the shutter priority option. AV, which is the aperture priority option. M, which is the manual exposure selection, and B, which is the bulb exposure option. The basic zone of the dial includes the A plus button, which is scene intelligent auto option, the CA button, which includes the creative auto option, and the SCN button, which is a special scene selection option, which includes a portrait, landscape, close-up, sports, night portrait, handheld night scene, and HDR backlit control options within the SCN selection. Immediately below the mode dial control is the on-off power switch, and when you set the power switch to on or off, the self-cleaning option will automatically be started. Sliding to the right slightly, the camera has built in the hot shoe along with the flash sync contacts. This camera does not include a built-in flash. Looking to the right of the camera, we can see the top LCD screen and a selection of five buttons just above that. Going from left to right, we have the AF Autofocus Operation Selection button, followed by the Drive Mode Selection button. Next in line is the ISO Speed Setting button. To the right of that is the Metering Mode Selection button. And ending with the LCD Panel Illumination button, which lights up your LCD panel to use in low light conditions. Above your five selection buttons, there is a main spinning dial. This dial can be rotated in either direction to adjust the settings that you chose in the LCD display. And just to the front of that spinning adjustment dial is the shutter button. To the left and right of the camera body, you can also see the strap mounting brackets. Taking a look at the front of the camera body, we can see on our left side is the shutter button on the top left of the body. Directly below that is the remote control sensor. To the right of that sensor is the self-timer lamp indicator light. Looking below that self-timer light is the DC coupler plug outlet. It may be hard to see in this picture. Taking a look at the center of the body beneath the Canon logo is the EF lens mount area that contains the lens mount, lens lock pin, the contacts, and the mirror on the inside of the unit. Just under and to the left is the depth of field preview button. Looking to the right of the lens mount, we can see the lens release button. And above that is the camera model, obviously. And slightly below that sits the built-in microphone. The part protruding from the side in this photo is actually just one of the camera strap mounting brackets. Looking out the right side of the camera, if you are looking at the back of the camera, lies the strap mount bracket at the top, followed by the SD card slot cover below that, which features a spring-loaded SD card loading slot. Jumping over to the left side of the camera, if you are looking at the back, sits the speaker location, kind of hidden in the texture grip, and the audio video cover. Once we open the covers on the side here, you can see underneath it lies the HDMI out terminal on the right side. Above that on the upper right sits the mini USB AV digital output terminal. To the left of that, on the top, sits the M3 remote control terminal. And below that on the left, lower left, is the external microphone input terminal. Moving to the rear of the camera, we can see the mode dial and power switch on the upper left of the body. Directly below that are two buttons. The left button is simply the menu button to access the menu. And on the right of that is the info button, which simply displays the shooting function settings on screen. Scooting to the right a little, we see the viewfinder eyepiece along with the eye cup. And right in the upper right corner of the eye cup is the dioptric knob, which adjusts the viewfinder's clarity. 
to the lower right of the viewfinder is the live view, movie view, shooting switch combined with the start stop button. This button combines the option to switch between stills mode and movie mode and gives you the ability to shoot with the LCD monitor as opposed to the viewfinder. Just below this button is the index magnifier reduce button and below that is the playback button. To the right of these buttons is a quick control button which enables you to directly select and set the shooting function displayed on the LCD screen. Moving below the control button is the rotating quick control dial with the multi-controller pad and the center setting button. Moving down and to the left is the obvious erase button, trash bin. And next to that is also an obvious multi-function lock switch. To the right sits the access lamp illuminator which identifies when the camera is in use and processing an image or video. Looking at the center left of the camera body sits the 3 inch LCD monitor. Traveling to the upper right of the body sits three buttons. Starting on the left we have the AF on AF start button. In the middle is the AEFE -E lock button and the button to the right is the AF point selection button. Congratulations on sitting through all of that and this will conclude the tour of the Canon 6D. I hope it was inform informative and answered a few questions that you may have had regarding the aesthetics and function of the buttons that have been placed on the 6D's camera body. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.